Oh, nice. My goal today was to catch rainbows and browns. We caught a rainbow first, now we just caught a brown. Keeping him in the water and then revive a little bit. Just got a text. Beers this Saturday. Cheers. Let's make sure we got some stories to tell.
That was the green one. It's so funny. The red one was wrapped around. Alright, another beautiful rainbow. Nice and tiny, but this creek is perfect. Wow. Three fish, it's been about under 15 minutes. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna stop it there. Let's keep going. We are using a Dogwood Canyon White River from Bass Pro Rod and, excuse me, Rod and Reel. Um, this is a much heavier setup than I would normally do. Um, the reel is okay, but uh, well, you know what? I did go with my big reel. So this whole setup's a little bigger, but uh, I broke my other smaller reel this morning. Right before I left, I noticed that the uh, handle was snapped. But just goes to show, don't make excuses. Use your gear, go out there. Then I'm using a setup of strike indicator. So a leader, strike indicator, then I tied some tippet down here at the end of the leader so that way you don't just keep um, using new leaders, you just tie the tippet to the end of it. And if any of this isn't making sense, join the channel, check it all out. It'll make a lot more sense. I know it's a lot of lingo mumbo jumbo. And then a copper john, which is just like a bead head with a small little midge at the bottom of it. And the red one is smashing. That last one was called in the green. And let's catch them. Evergreen, Colorado. Uh, best way to support is just hit subscribe, hit follow. If you want to buy a trout hooker shirt, check it out in the bio. Cheers, get some more. and they'll cruise and they'll go find stuff. These fish are ambushing. So if you can put it in the correct channel, the same or different fish are all going from the same pocket. So if it's just a foot off, it might not get them. But if you can put it in the same spot where you know the fish are ambushing from, that's what you do. So I'm no mad scientist, but I knew it was in the right scene. It's got a high chance, so let's see if I can do it again. The scene for this one is just under where that green bobber is that tree. And it's tricky because these branches are uh, low enough where they catch um, your line when you're casting. So I'm going very short line here. I'm tightly, well, still trying to get it under there. So that's kind of the first combo. So let's see if we can do it again. Might be. 